Look at somebody and said, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. You know why? They themselves are soiled. Their hands are soiled. So, if you talk, they will bring your resume. Bring it and show you. You that is talking. See what is in your account. See the one you stole there. See the, then you say, no, this is the best administration. <laughs> Our president is the best president. The three agenda of the president and this administration has been fulfilled. This is a nation where people die every day. Murdered every day. And somebody is telling you it's the best administration. Elijah came up and said, hey, how long are we going to stay between two opinions? Friend, it takes a man that has the anointing and to have the guts to challenge Jezebel. He said to Eha, send in the false prophets because it has gener the situation generated false prophets. Our nation has gotten to that level. We have false prophets. Look at your social media. You see pastors praying. Praying for people who are almost at the grave to come and be president. Pastors. People that have eaten and eaten and eaten over the years. They are still praying for them and say, come and eat. Come and rule us. For God to answer. False prophet. They are prophesying who we be. It happened in the days of the Bible. There were so many false prophets than true prophets. They were projected. And they began to speak. Then Elijah came and said, how long can we be between two opinions? We have to make up our mind. If God be God, let's serve him. If Baal be Baal, let us serve him. Let us have an encounter at Mount Carmel. Can I hear somebody holler hallelujah? Let's have an encounter on Mount Carmel. And there was an encounter on Mount Carmel, the God that we answer by fire. Ladies and gentlemen, fire is a product of exceptionality. When the unusual takes place, that makes you outstanding. And 450 men began to enchant from morning till evening. Fire refused to come. Fire didn't come. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny this week this week is your week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it those in the village expect that you are doing well in the city they don't know they are better than you. 
They can branch backyard, the pluck corn. You don't have backyard. They can pluck ugu leaf. You don't have. They can uproot one yam by the backyard and cook it without. You don't have. Chicken self, you know, you know, get where you go, rear chicken. One chicken now is how many thousand? Very soon, it will be difficult to even buy chicken because chicken feed has skyrocketed. By the time they say you should buy one chicken for 12, 15,000, they're already selling it. Uh -huh. Now, your salary is how much? If your salary is 50,000, you buy one chicken, 15,000, somebody will not advise you that you don't need to eat chicken, that you should go and look for crayfish. Is anybody listening to me? First King chapter 18, 36 to 40. First King chapter 18, 36 to 40. Before somebody say, Bishop, just preach, preach, preach. You know, read the Bible. I know you are here. I know. Don't, don't I know? And it came to pass at the time of the, of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day. Ah. That thou art God of Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know in your compound, they may know, in your business line, they, will, they may know. In the market where you are selling, they may know. In your community, they may know. Among your political friends, they will know. Somebody said, they will know. They will know. That thou art the Lord God. And that thou has turned their hearts back again. That's what we need in this nation. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the bond sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is the God. See their language. The Lord, he is the God. God will make you outstanding so that those who thought you are nothing will bow before your God. If I hear you shout, Amen. amen. Four hundred and fifty prophets of Baal prostrated and begin to worship the God of Elijah. I pray in your business that God will make you excellent. I pray that in your enterprise, God will make you outstanding. That others will come and say, how did you do it? It takes the anointing. Coming in contact with the presence of the Lord. In 2 Kings 1 verse 8 to 12, 2 Kings 1, and they answered him. He was an hairy man, a guy with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, it is Elijah the teeth bite. Elijah the what? That bite with teeth. Then the king sent unto him a captain of 50 with his 50. And he went up to him and behold, he sat on the top of an hill and he spake unto him, thou man of God. The king has said, come down, lift up your hand. 
So whatever messenger and whatever message from any power, from any occult, from any witchcraft coven that want me to go down, let fire consume them. You will not go down. In your home, you will not go down. In your job, you will not go down. In your business, you will not go down. In your marriage, you will not go down. As a mother, you will not go down. As a father, you will not go down. As a single, you will not go down. What was the problem? The problem was when the king and his army plan how to invade Israel, Elijah will know. That is what makes you outstanding. Ah! That's the power of the Holy Ghost. When you know the secret, you are not in the meeting, but you know what they discuss. That's what makes you, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Before they will appear, they already knew their plans. Then the king got worried and said to his, his people, who among you betrays me? They say, sir, nobody. There is one man. Somebody said, there is one man. He said, king, even what you discuss in your bedroom, he hears and he won't be there. Let us describe who he is. He has hair and he wears animal skin. Ah, the king said, I know him. He's Elijah the teeth bite. I know him. I know him. You know what? I will show him. I will do what? I will show him. You know, you know, you know it makes you outstanding. You need to get to fellowship with the Holy Ghost to the point where your presence terrorizes your enemy. Your presence. That when they sit down, they begin to discuss you. How, how, do we, how do we approach him? You need to get to that level. You remember that, that story of the young man that came here? The young man that vomited 206 three inches needle in this ministry. 206 I counted 14 sharp razor blades. Don't ask me how. He vomited it. How razor blade was in his stomach, I do not know. How 263 inches needles were in his stomach, I do not know. But what brought him? They said, the things I was saying on the television mandated to kill me. He hired one of the head of assassin in Benin. I won't tell you the name. He confessed. And the guy took his gun. Meanwhile, I was just an innocent man talking. They said, bring him down. He must die. The man took his gun and a hand appeared from his television with gun and said to him, if you move, you are dead. I wasn't there. He dropped his gun. The hand went back to the television. He looked at the television. So, who is this man that he wants to kill? He reported to this young man who was the secretary of the cult that was given the mandate to eliminate me? He said, no, we give you power. They gave him power. Few days later, I was, and that, you know those days, I closed 12, 1 o'clock a year. They gave him assignment. They gave him power. The following day, after they gave him power, he took his gun. He, he saw a man from the ceiling only saw the man's leg and hand 
point gun at him. He didn't see the man's face. How the man pierced from the ceiling because the man's face passed through the roof. That was when he dropped the gun, packaged the money they gave him and returned to the young man.